welcome back you guys so as you guys can see the tires are off the car jack stands underneath the car Whew, i'm running out of breath um today i'm gonna try and put on the d2 coilovers um myself i was gonna take it to a shop but i figured i'd make some content doing this you know what i mean um it's my first time doing this all i've really been doing is watching hella videos and reading the uh the manual basically i mean honestly not that hard if you have power tools with torque bits things like that it's very easy um this is the d2 uh coilovers i forget what series they are but um yeah i've shown you guys these plenty of times season to you guys for eons it <laughs> feels like but um yeah now that i've got my drill and my tools everything that i need I'm gonna go ahead and um and get this done for you guys obviously the first thing that you want to do is find your jack points and i'll leave a description um i'll leave a link down below in the description for all your jack points what you need to do um for me it was like hella sketchy just because it's my first time doing it again um but i wanted to work on the rear first because i've seen videos of how the rear can be a little bit more difficult and this is the lx version version we have the Sport 2.0 over here. Um, whether or not this that one's gonna be getting done or not uh, is for another time. I don't think they, my mom and pops wanna do anything with that car. But um, yeah, I also have the camera kit. So that'll be replacing this one right here, the OEM uh, camera arm. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this tripod up somewhere and just basically walk you guys through it. Again, there's tons of videos on uh, YouTube, but if you want to watch mine, I greatly appreciate it. We're at like 93, 94 subscribers right now as I'm speaking, and the support is unbelievable. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this up and show you guys basically everything that I've been watching and learning. And hopefully any of you guys that have the LX through the sport version can learn something and you can do it on your own if you feel comfortable with it if you don't then by all means just take it to a shop spend the seven eight hundred bucks to get it installed whatever it is and uh yeah i'm gonna set this up and get it going for you guys okay so for this portion right here in order to get this bolt out you will need before you do anything jack it up at this point where you're um where you're i think this is your strep boot or spring boot my bad spring boot is um just for the simple fact that you do not want to cross thread this you want to make it as easy as possible on yourself so just go ahead and take this out um some people say it's a 14 millimeter uh this bit here is a 17 millimeter it's a petersburg uh just kind of like cheap one whatever uh you're gonna just pull this out And boom now that's out you can go ahead and lower the jack a little bit go ahead and stop it right there and essentially now well no I can go ahead and do you guys see my cat this dude's crazy what's up I was <laughs> This dude's crazy. He just came out of the nowhere. I just seen him in the freaking camera. But um, yeah, you can go ahead and lower that down all the way. And at this point, you can essentially take this out, I believe. Um, trying to attempt to get these low ring springs, these uh coilovers, I mean, installed on the car. Uh, I did the rear myself but i couldn't do the fronts myself so I, I had to hit up my boy michael i actually found him on uh off up as crazy as that sounds and uh he drove all the way out from pomona which is if you're not too familiar with uh socal southern california it's about give or take 45 minutes to an hour drive especially depending on traffic and depending on how deep in pomona you could be or la you know things like that so um he came out here with like no hesitation really i mean i hit him up last night and he's here obviously today as you guys can see and uh he brought his dope ass g30 g37s i believe it is yeah, infinity this thing is clean as hell he does all his own work 
as you guys can see, he has this thing sitting real pretty, which he's helping me out right now with also, because last night, like I told you guys before with these coilovers, they have the adjustable sway bar end links, and I had this flip the other way around, and then I had this part right here, not wanting to fit uh, flush enough. And on top of that, if you guys follow my Instagram story or Snapchat, I had this this car like uh, crooked. So when he came here, we looked underneath the back. This back jack was actually not even touching the bottom end of the car. So he helped me adjust all this. I know it's like simple things that you just know how to do, but at the same time, you don't know how to do it. When it's like 110 degrees outside, <laughs> And you're just losing patience by the minute and yeah he came through and he's helping me out right now he's on the other side getting all that in right now um if you if you have an instagram or anything i'll leave it in the description too for people to just hit you up if they oh, yeah, need yeah. any work yeah yeah put my instagram you can get it too you can follow me i don't upload too often but I mean, as you guys see, he's a busy man, so he doesn't really have time to be on, you know, social media too often. But I mean, once you guys see when he gets done, you guys will see his work and everything. And like he said on uh, on Offer Up, he doesn't consider himself a mechanic. He's just mechanically inclined. So, I mean, you just gotta, you gotta roll the dice sometimes. And I mean, from what I'm seeing, he knows what the fuck he's doing. So I have zero complaints. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get this second part on right now. I'm breathing heavy because it's fucking hot, but he's killing it. Once we get done with this front, we're gonna work on the back just to make sure that I got everything done. He looked back here and said that it looks all good, but obviously you just wanna have a second eye. And so once we get all this uh, adjusted and put down on the ground, I'll go ahead and cut this back on for you guys, or I might throw in some, some clips of I was getting this all put in, but I don't really want to have the camera in everybody's face. So, yeah, see you guys in a little bit. So just like that, got this side in. Uh, just have to obviously just this uh, uh, soy bar end link right here. Uh, he's on the other side right now. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, doing all this is a bit of a bitch, but I mean, it's definitely gonna be worth it once it's all said and done. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of better to just take it to a shop. But I mean, if you want to just get down and just get to know your own vehicle, it's a hell of a, it's a hell of an experience. I'll tell you that much. Um, this is a 12 millimeter or 11 millimeter, uh, 17 and 14, I believe. I'll put it all down in the description for you guys. But yeah, all this is essentially lined up. Obviously, we just got to lower it all back down take it off the jack stands to see how it all fits. And then hopefully within possibly the next clip or the clip after that, go ahead and um, take it to an alignment shop so we can get the rolling again. So I'm editing the video right now, you guys. So this is actually still the same day that you guys see this or I might post the video tomorrow, but this is how the video is gonna end right now. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. The car looks fucking, looks amazing. Excuse my language. Just don't excuse my language. I don't really care, but this car looks amazing. I mean, you guys know how it looked before. How it was like, almost kind of like how the Sport looks, but the Sport obviously looks a lot better with the 19 inch wheels that sit a little bit, for some reason, I'm not too big on like the tire sizes and how like it all sits up together and things like that, but it looks a lot better than how it did before back to this car how it did before um obviously before the car had like a two to three inch like finger gap inside here you can fit one finger and it doesn't rub inside the inner fender at all whatsoever even in the rear you can kind of see a little little camber in the back we still have the camber um camber kit in the rear that's gonna happen once we put those new wheels on in the meantime you gonna roll around with these i mean I love this look inside here. It's like, dude, it's like, like I said, it's cambered inside. So obviously camber it is, it sits in a little bit, but it rides smoothly. Um, this is like weird, like a little, like clunk in the back, but it's only like on like the little, like, not like this, but like the little like potholes in the street. 
but if you like drive over something um like a big ass dip or whatever it is it doesn't even fucking it doesn't even move at all um yeah this thing looks fucking amazing and don't don't mind i know on the other side it looks like it's probably lower on that side than this side but it's really just the lighting in the driveway is like at a an angle so yeah also if you guys follow me on um instagram you guys can go ahead and go to lowered empire i'll leave a link in the description as well for um all their products and if you use my code you can save 10 percent, or they have their own like discounts and things like that but if you want to support your boy i greatly appreciate it if not that's perfectly fine I don't really care but yeah you guys can see it sits a hell of a lot lower i already won the first uh tiger stripes you know what i mean you play stupid games you win stupid prizes and then uh, this is my stupid prize right here <laughs> uh, me and my wife were gonna order another one but then we're just like well the car's already lowered now and i mean i'll put a couple pictures at the um end of the video and you can see that it's like already scraping just like how it is <laughs> and as stupid as that sounds i love how it scrapes it's not even like i don't know it's like once you do it you see if you don't like it obviously just take the shits off just take it off it is what it is um we are gonna end up ordering a new uh not a new one but uh like a little chunk spoiler if you guys can think of any chunk spoilers to put in the back let me know as well because i mean i want to hear you guys' opinion i mean we're now at 96 subscribers two days ago we were at 94 we're at 96 almost 100 this shit is fucking crazy yo like i'm gonna leave all this in here because the same way I'm acting now at 100 subscribers, like the same way at 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million, whatever it is, once we get up and keep going, like, I'm still acting the same. I'm still very humble, very grateful for everything. Um, again, thank you all for your support, your love, you know, likes, dislikes, comments, things like that. If anybody comments in the comment section down below, you know that I talk back to you guys. So just talk to me and I talk back. I'm, I'm human. I'm not a robot. You know what I mean? I'm not an asshole in any way, shape, or form um yeah <laughs> i don't really know what else to really say i mean the car just it, it looks amazing like <laughs> oh god bro <laughs> oh man god the neighbors probably heard me the past couple of days yelling and fuck this car oh i'm so mad blah 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 but i mean now that they see here and see it it just looks looks amazing i don't know what to, really else like what to say i mean we got an appointment to, uh, on monday at the tent shop that i was supposed to originally take it to the tent shop that i took that i said in the very very beginning of like all this before we even put the coilovers on they did nothing wrong whatsoever it was me personally that i wanted to go ahead and do this so i can make content for you guys um obviously there's no revenue coming in this is just all something that i can look back on later on in the future and be like damn yo we did do this right here we did it at home right in the driveway you know what i mean it's an experience that you really don't ever get to get so i mean my first time ever ever doing this and i mean it took a minute but i mean this is the end result you know what i mean the new wheels and tire, the new tires will well the new rims will go on Later on in the future, for now, a roll like this, see how it is, see how it feels. I'm, I'm digging it already. I can't wait to put the new wheels on, but I can't wait. You know what I mean? So, again, thank you for watching this video, you guys. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Thumbs up, thumbs down. It is what it is. I greatly appreciate all the support. And uh, see you guys in a new one. Peace.